God is speaking. Now I'm going to I'm going to flip back over and go back to that text, but I want to read something. I think it's um now I'm almost done tonight. I pray that this is a blessing to you. Tomorrow, I promise I'll have my voice. I'll do all the stuff I need to do for that. And um, I'm going to go to, no, I think it's Matthew. Let me try here. Uh, I'm looking younger today than I've ever been. Let's see here. Let's see here. As Yeshua entered. No. You know I'm going to skip down to six. Sir my orderly is lying at home. Paralyzed and suffering. Terribly. Yeshua said. I will go. And heal him. But the officer answered. Sir I am unfit. To have you come into my home. Rather if you will only give. The command. If you will only give the word. My orderly will recover and so he knew that he was unfit and sometimes people people that are trying you and people people um people want you around and this and that and want you know want to become common and things like that oftentimes you got to be able to understand now the real one knows guess what you know i ain't gonna mess with her or him you know, but, you know, we need help. We need deliverance. We need this and that. You get in front of them, and what you're doing is you're sitting up here playing. And listen, I'm going to tell you something. I wouldn't want that blood on my hands for nothing in the world. I wouldn't want that blood on my hands for nothing in the world. One thing about Yehovah, he is concerned about his people. But we see here the satirian knew that he was not in the space Now, this was a man of character and stature, but he was not in the space. He was unfit for Yeshua the Messiah to go to his home. Who have you invited to your house? And you know your house was out of order. Who have you let into your den, into your personal life, and your life was out of order? Why why try to push yourself on a relationship or come common with somebody that is definitely not where you are? But the satirian here teaches us he was a wise man. He says, listen, he said, if you would just if you would just give the command, if you would just speak the word, I know that my servant will be healed. And that's what we need now. We need to teach you. And God needs to teach us, and we need to hear this, that what? We learn what to speak. We need to learn what to speak. We need to know how to give the right command. You know, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm fascinated when I think about what God is doing in this space and in this time, you know, um, and how he's so strong on my mind right now. You know, I'm fascinated about it, but you know, um I'm 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 almost amazed that, you know, that just the way God is just saying, Listen, son, I'm gonna use you in this capacity, but listen, don't you ever do that again. Oh yes, Lord. Now what are you what are you talking about? He said he said, Listen, there's some places there's some places that you can go, there's some places that you can't go. There's some conversations you can have, and then there's other conversations you better not have. But you just need to be around what? The spoken word. You need to be around something specific that God is saying to you, the individual. Now, listen, I know this doesn't just, I'm telling you right now that I don't know how long I'll talk about this because, one, I was amazed. That it, re, it that that God gave me the revelation that He spoke, that He appeared to Moses. Listen, y'all, out of a fiery, out of a flame of fire, He spoke, and the Bible says that He they heard He heard a voice, but there was no I heard a voice. He heard words. The the he heard the sound of the voice was words, and there was no image. 
And so what we want to do is we want to focus on that. We want to think about this for the next couple of days that I'm talking about this is that we want to, you know, what, 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 what has you heard in the pure things of God and you created an image and your image is off. You need to kill that image. You know, why he was up and, 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 and God didn't show him an image. He just seen the fire and he heard the voice and he heard the voice and the sound of words. The people of, of Israel that just got delivered from slavery and bondage, what were they doing? They were making another image what they perceived to be like their God. They made, they made a golden image. And that's what we do or people do. Today, they make bishops their image. They make pastors. They make apostles. They make men, women, boys, girls. Look, they can make a little small building an image. Their title, in most cases, their titles are even images. Even their titles, they get titles, and the title is an image to them. Oh, this is the image, you know, so you got to have this that goes with the image and so on and so on. And it makes no sense other than nonsense. You know, you got, you know, I'm coming into uh, into God's house and all I can think about is something that's wrong in the house. Now, I don't have God. I didn't I didn't have God with me when I was outside the building. And you know I'm not having God in there with me while I'm in the building because everybody, 99.9% .9 of the people in the building are just like her or him. You understand what I'm saying? Hemming and hawing about nothing that makes it makes sense, you know, talking about everything that is wrong. But there's a difference when we bring God's presence in a place. Now, it's important that God has allowed you to go to this place. But it's important that we bring God's presence in the place and that God will what? That God would be glorified. It's imperative that we understand. So whatever the image is that you got up, I'm telling you, you need to destroy it. The people that I would come around, I don't come around anymore. The people that used to talk to me don't talk to me anymore. The people that used to uh, be on my side, they're not, they're not on my side anymore. They don't want to participate with the things that I do. So we need to know that God is doing a good work. God is doing a good work. And he's going to complete it in you. God is going to complete what he said he's going to do in you. And I, I, I pray that this was a blessing to you. God just wants you to know that, listen, we have to learn how to speak. And we need to learn how to speak from the oracles or the position of God. It's not to entertain or make people go insane or to stain them with, with demonic uh, uh, with, with demonic integers or demonic uh, principles uh, and uh, principalities, demonic principalities and energies, because that's normally what you do when you go up there and play. You ain't got to ever go behind the word of God and explain it, lest you be a demon and you're festering and, and building demons. But listen, let me tell you something. You don't learn this stuff in seminary. You don't learn this stuff on being on the block and on the corner. The only place that you learn this is by learning how to get on your knees and lay it before your face. And wherever you went wrong, go back and ask God to forgive you and start it all over again. Because God's not going to give you two different words. God's going to give you the spoken word. And whatever you try to put before or after the spoken word will not work. Why? Because in the beginning was the word, the word was with God, the word was God. See, the thing about the word, when you become the, when you become the image of just speak the word, you become that word. So the word gets a hold of you, which is Yehovah, and you become the word. And the Bible teaches us what? These three agree in heaven and in earth. 
the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, or the Holy Spirit, they agree. And so that's the uniqueness about the Word, or becoming the Word, or just speaking the Word without adding. You know, the cake requires just a stick of butter and uh, two eggs. You want to put a stick and a half of butter, and you want to put three eggs. And so you overly uh, 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 portionalize the ingredients and things to make this cake be the spectacular or the ingredients of to get the same effect. Right now in the Bible's teachings of the last days, listen, I'm going to pour out my spirit upon all flesh, our sons and daughters, dream, dreams, and visions. Listen, you don't need to take nobody on no fun day. You need to teach them the word. You can tell when you're around people that don't know the word because all they do is look at you because guess what? They don't know nothing because nobody's teaching them the word. You can say whatever you want. And guess what? You can just because you get up and speak doesn't mean that you teach. Just because you get up and preach doesn't mean that you teach. Just because you get up and speak and teach does not mean that you reach the people where they are. Now, look, that's enough for tonight. I pray that this makes you all whiter than snow. Father, I just give thy name praise and I give thy name glory and I give thy name honor. And I just thank you for your presence over the airway tonight, Lord. I thank you for this word, Lord. And right now, Lord, I pray for the supernatural move of God to reach every listener where they are, Lord. I pray that you, the word, would come alive, Lord. That the layer, your, the, a layer of you called the word, Lord, would cover their whole being in the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, the Holy One. And I give thy name praise and I give thy name glory. Thank you, Lord. Glory. Oh, bless his name. Thank you, Lord. I pray, Lord God, that you would pour out your spirit like never before, Lord. Father, that you would begin to speak and have them speak, the others, over the airway, Lord. Bless those at the Way Nursing Center, Lord. Mother Spillman, every resident, Lord, that's connected with that organization and company. Lord, every resident, every staff member, in Jesus' mighty name, glory. Mm. I pray, Lord God, that your freshness would move over this airway, Lord. And I give thy name praise and I give thy name glory. Establish your work, Lord. And I give you praise. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Do it tonight, Lord. Do it tonight. Do it tonight, Lord. Be thou glorified tonight in the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, the Holy One. And I give thy name praise and I give thy name glory. Thank you, Lord. 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 I give thy name praise and I give thy name glory. I pray every prayer, every word in the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, the Holy One. That is my prayer tonight. Amen and amen. Well, God bless you. That's it for tonight. Just speak the word. Just speak the word. Don't dress it up. Just give it plain so that people can receive the word. Give the word so that they can be received. Amen. And you that are out here and you're listening and you may not know the word, guess what? If you get quiet before God, God will teach you his word and you will be able to speak the word and people will be able to receive the word and work the word out. The word will work itself out and that not just your life, but in their lives. Amen. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, the Holy One. We thank God for that word. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.